as a man, it is okay to go into Bath and Body Works. You don't think I can do it, right? You go in smelling like a man, and you come out smelling like a vintage Christmas tree. Like Christmas? So we're gonna be taking a look at coffee and whiskey from the house of <laughs> house. Never thought I'd see the day. I went to Bath and Body Works like five times to try to find this cologne and it was sold out every single time. Luckily, I found it. The bottle is actually pretty cool. If Guerlain made something like this, I think it would be like a 10 out of 10. Let's spray it on. Insanely tough to get off. Do you hear that? Sounds like a machine gun. Sir, we have a report of shots fired at that same location. It smells pretty good in the air. Ooh, it's like a tiramisu. It's nice. Ooh. So it's coffee. It's whiskey. It's It smells authentic. It smells really good. It smells like a coffee, like a roasted coffee. And it, the whiskey is actually blending some sweetness in here. Ooh, it's actually really nice. There has to be some kind of like vanilla in here because it's very like, there's some cappuccino kind of vibes with this. It's, um... It's very pleasant. I, I don't presume this is gonna last a long time. And if you're looking at buying this, I would look at this more in like the, the lens of Replica. So they make a bunch of different fragrances for different situations. And this kind of falls into that like, I wouldn't expect this to perform like crazy. Buy this to buy it for that scent profile that just may be lounging about. I'm just assuming here, but uh, you know. Man, that cap is like insane. It's pretty nice. The bottle, I, I still can't get over the bottle. The bottle is really cool. I mean, it's Bath and Body Works, so I mean, you know, how, you know, generic can you get? So it, it's quite pleasant. It's very unisex, so this could be worn, you know, women or men, you know, cats can wear this. I'm a sucker for coffee. I actually start spraying this on in the morning, like bright and early in the morning. I usually wake up pretty early, like five. And if I sprayed this on, I get that like, you know, cozy kind of scent profile. I think it would be really good. I'll be back in a few hours. I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit and kind of give you my final thoughts on it. I'll just wait here. I like it, I do. Uh, it, it doesn't perform as, you know, you know, it's not beast mode. If you're looking for a beast mode fragrance, do not go to Bath and Body Works. I think that should be just a general rule. Until Bath and Body Works partner with Paco Rabanne, I would maybe find something else. But in terms of like just the scent, it dries down, it gets very roasted coffee. You know, it's just, it stays pretty linear. It's nothing like groundbreaking, but it is very pleasant. I really do like it. And for 40 bucks, you can't really go wrong, but just know what you're getting. You're getting kind of a spray on lazy fragrance where you're just like spray it on and you smell like coffee and whiskey. Um, this is probably not gonna last you throughout a work day. Coffee and whiskey, have you tried it? Let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.